The four things that matter most. The four things are what matters most to people who are dying, because when we face death, suddenly our relationships assume paramount importance. We want to express love and appreciation, and to say goodbye. We are sustained by the knowledge that we are loved and appreciated in return. Please forgive me, I forgive you, thank you, and I love you are four simple phrases with enormous power. When people die suddenly, we may regret having left some of these things unsaid. So rather than leave it until it may be too late, it is worth saying them now. Any relationship can be fixed and transformed permanently, it is never too late. One forgiveness. Nobody's life is perfect, and there will always be regrettable memories, which we wish we'd handled differently at the time. We must come to terms with our mistakes and accept ourselves, warts and all, rather than pretending to be something else. If we do not address issues with someone we're close to, they can continue to haunt us even after the other person has died. Treating people with love and compassion is good for both sides. Two, thank you. Everyone benefits when we express and accept appreciation without restraint. We shouldn't do good deeds solely to receive thanks, but there is no need to reject appreciation simply to prove the point. Life is short, and if we remember to really appreciate it instead of taking it for granted. We can infuse every moment with joy. Three, I love you. There are many ways to communicate love. If events of the past make saying the actual words too difficult in certain circumstances, then the door can be opened by way of a letter or recorded message or a tender touch. Life is precious, and we should try to live it as fully as possible in love and gratitude. Four, goodbye. The need to say goodbye can give us. The strength to undertake arduous journeys or even delay death until it has been satisfied. Saying farewell is much easier if we have made the four things part of our relationships.